Hey students, I'm gonna be gone seventh and eighth hours today, so I'm making this video to show you what to do to make your cheek cell slides. Now, I'll have the directions posted on the TV for you all, but what you'll do is you first wanna get a toothpick from up here um, by the way, if you don't have um, a slide or a slide cover on your paper towel, uh, just come and get another one from up here. Mrs. Watts will help you with that. But you'll take a toothpick. Now, see how this one kind of has a pokey thing coming out already? So remove that. That way it doesn't lodge inside of your mouth. So toothpick, good to go. There's kind of a bigger end to it and a smaller end to it. Use the bigger end. And what you'll do is you'll take the toothpick and you'll go to inside your cheek and you'll scrape for about 10, 20 seconds. You don't want to like go too hard because it might um, make your gums bleed. We don't want that. But rotate. Rotate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And once you're done, you'll find your slide, wherever your slide is. I'm trying to find a slide right now. I'll just use one of these. So you'll find a slide. And what you'll do is you're going to scrape it onto the slide. Now, I don't know if I can show you this. Let's see what I can do here. So you kind of take the toothpick. I like to hold the slide, but you, you push down on it and you scrape it on there. Scrape it on there. And then you flip the toothpick and just kind of keep scraping it on. Just like that. Scrape it on. Just scrape it on. Scrape it on. It's going to look kind of nasty. You know, kind of nasty when it's done. That's okay. It's just you. That's you. So then, after that, you'll add your stain. And what we're going to use today is this methylene blue stain. It's uh, diluted, because we don't need like super intense stain. So I put a little bit of water in there. But you'll take it to the pipette. I have a little pipette cup of it. And you'll just put a couple drops, like two drops on it. Flatten this out here. So two drops. And I like to let it set for a little bit. Set for about, oh, a minute or so on there to let it soak in. All right, so we've done that, good. We've let it set for a minute. And then you'll get your cover slip. And again, if you don't have a cover slip, just come up to Mrs. Watch, she'll get you a cover slip. And you'll put it on at a 45 degree angle, just like you usually do. If you notice there's anything coming out the sides, you can kind of blot with your paper towel. and kind of pick all this stuff up with the paper towel. You'd rather clean up your slide now than later because uh, we don't want to get it on our microscopes. So we kind of clean it up a little bit, nice and good, okay. Okay, there is an air bubble in here. I can try to tap it out, but it's not a big deal. You can you can move around the air bubbles. Now, when you go to look under the microscope, these these cheek cells are a little harder to find. They're smaller than plant cells, first of all, and they're kind of scattered throughout. So, what you'll do is you'll get your microscope ready to go. Red objective. We start with red, and you'll get your slide. Use this one. This one I made earlier. Um, we'll turn it on here. Okay, got the light source. Oh no, I'm gonna have to flip my camera around. I messed that up. Okay, I'm gonna add another part to this. Okay, so then once you've got your slide all ready to go, you're gonna put it onto the stage. Red objective, course adjustment knob, and what you're gonna do is try to locate.
the cells. They're gonna look like cornflakes or eggs. Oh, I think I might be getting close. There we go. And they're gonna be in clusters. So as you see, I got it focused now. I can move the slide around. Look at all those clusters of, oh, that's a great cluster right there. Hundreds of cells right here. Thousands, perhaps. This yellow stuff is nothing. It's just like iodine left over or something from the slide. But what you're looking at is these clusters. All these clusters are cells. All these clusters are cells. So just draw a cluster of them for your drawing for red. Rotate to yellow. Recenter, refocus. Oh, those are great. And you can definitely see on yellow the nucleus, the cell membrane, and the cytoplasm. Those three things nucleus, cell membrane, cytoplasm. The nucleus is that dot inside of there. But just great cells all over the place. Yours might not look this good. This is pretty good. That's, that's my breakfast. That right there. That's who knows what that is. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Good cluster. Great cluster. So I'm just going to go to a cluster again and sketch it for yellow. I like this cluster here. And then I'll go to red. Or, sorry, blue. And remember on blue, you're going to use the... Oh, look at that. You're going to use the fine adjustment knob. Lovely. Really good uh, seeing all the cell membranes on the outside, the cytoplasm, and the nucleus. Perhaps those dots might be some ribosomes. Uh, I'm not convinced on that, but nevertheless, those are good. I count one, two, three, four, five, probably about 20, 25 cells right here that I could draw for blue. So excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm done sketching. I've done all my sketches. I will take my slide and my slide cover, and I will take it and dump it into the soapy water right here. Just dump it in the soapy water. That's all you do for cleanup. Go back to your microscope, wrap it up, put the bag on it, and you'll be done for the day. Make sure you have your drawings for onions and for cheek cells. And then there's a gim kit review that I want you to complete. If you complete the gim kit, I'll give you two sore bucks. You can use those sore bucks to buy candy. All right, we'll see you later.